Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your An Academy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, all of you are having the good time. So my dear students, this is your chemistry educator Vaseem Bhatt and I am going to address all the Neat 2024 students in this particular session. My dear students, lately I have been getting different queries from the students. There are a particular set of students who are scoring around 250 in their mock tests and they are saying how to improvise their score. Again, there are a particular set of students who are almost scoring 450 in their mock tests and again they are asking the same question how to improvise this test score. And there is again a particular set of students who are already scoring 600 marks in their mock tests and again they are coming up with the same question how to improvise the score so that they get the single digit and the double digit ranks. So in this particular session, I'm going to address all these different types of students. The first ones who are scoring less than 250 in their mock tests, right? The second one who are scoring almost 450 in their mock tests and the third one who are scoring 600 almost in their mock tests at this particular point of time, knowing that there are almost almost some 70 to 80 days left till your NEET 2024 examination, right? So my dear students, I have summarized every single thing on a particular slide. I want you guys to have a look on this particular slide so that you get the exact idea of where you exactly are and what are you supposed to do. Before explaining this particular slide, before explaining all the categories of the students, those students who do not know where they exactly are, right? in which range of preparation they exactly are. I would suggest to you guys to write at least three to four full length mock tests so that you get to know whether you belong to category first, whether you belong to category second or you belong to category third, right? And accordingly, you can prepare, right? As per the category in which you exactly belong to, okay? So people, if you look at those particular students who are scoring less than 250 marks. My dear students, at this particular point of time, if you are scoring less than 250 marks, that clearly indicates, that clearly tells me that your basics is not clear. Your basics is weak. It is weak in all the subjects, be it physics, be it chemistry, be it biology. Because at this point of time, knowing that there are only 70 days left till the NEET 2024 examination, and still at this point of time, if you are scoring less than 250 in your mock test, that clearly indicates your basics is weak and your calculations in physics and physical chemistry, that is not up to the date. So my dear students, you need to work on the basics. Number one, you need to work on the basics. Number two, you need to work on your calculation as well. Now, those students who are scoring less than 250. Now, if you think you are going to cross 700 mark, I won't say that's impossible, but it is very difficult. It is very, very, very difficult. If you are at this point of time, if you are at 250 and if you want to shoot it up to 700, that is really difficult at this point of time, right? But it is not difficult to get into the medical college. Okay, it is not difficult to get into the medical college because in your states, the cutoff will be almost, almost 550 and you can shoot up your score from 250 to 550 for sure. But what you have to do for that purpose, you're not supposed to cover the 100% syllabus of PCB you're not supposed to cover the 100% syllabus. Because if you try to cover the 100% syllabus of PCB, there will be, I mean, some of the chapters which will still remain weak. So instead of covering the 100% syllabus of your PCB, I would suggest you guys to cover almost 80% of your syllabus as far as your physics, chemistry and biology is concerned, right? And this 80% syllabus which you will be covering this has to be covered with 100% efficiency, right? Okay, and what 80% syllabus I'm telling you to cover, I want you guys to focus on the high weightage chapters first. And if you would have seen, few days back only, I have posted one video in which I have given you the high weightage chapters of your physics, chemistry and biology. Just watch that video and get to know what are the high weightage chapters, what are the high weightage topics, so that you can at least cover your 80% of your syllabus in your PCB with 100% efficiency, right? Now the point is, how do you cover this 80% of the syllabus with 100% efficiency? For that, I would suggest you guys to follow the lectures, the detailed ones, right, which are already on YouTube, 
or the batch in which you guys are already in, right? After the lectures, DPP solving, then your PYQs of your NEET only, right? Okay, chapter wise mock test. If you follow this particular process and try to complete 80% of your syllabus with 100% efficiency, right? I'm pretty much sure, my dear students, you can easily score 550 plus in your NEET examination. And, and, and again, those students who are scoring less than 250, that again tells, tells me that your syllabus is not complete, right? You have only completed almost like 25 to 35 percentage of syllabus with 100 percent efficiency, right? So you just have to scale up from 25 percent to 80 percent, right? And this process you have to do, I'm pretty much sure you can do it, okay? And few things I would want you guys to avoid at this particular point of time. See, I'm talking about physics, I'm talking about physical chemistry, right? Do not consult their NCRTs. I'm talking about category one. Do not read theory from the NCRTs. You won't get it directly. Perfect. Instead of that, I would want you guys to watch the lectures, DPPs, PYQs, and once you complete a chapter, follow the mock test, right? Because your target is not 700. Your target is 550 only, right? And to get 550, NCRT is not required as far as physics is concerned, as far as physical chemistry is concerned, right? But you're supposed to do the theory of organic chemistry from NCRT and inorganic chemistry and at the same time, the biology theory from the NCRT. Perfect. No need to solve the NCRT exercise questions for the category one students. Okay. Now look at the category two students. Category two means those students who are right now at this particular point of time scoring almost 450 marks in their mock test. So my dear students, if you are scoring 450 marks, that means your basics is comparatively clear, right? Not comparatively, I would say your basics is clear. Perfect. So where the main problem will be, I believe your main problem will be in time management. Perfect. Now, how to manage the time? That will be your main issue if you are scoring almost 450 consistently in your mock test. Perfect. Now, if you want to shoot up your score from 450 till 600, what all things you have to keep in your mind? What all things you have to follow with 100% honesty so that you can improvise your score from 450 till your 600 at least, right? I would suggest do more and more revision of your notebooks. I believe you would have made already the separate notebooks of your physics, chemistry and biology. Try to do as many revisions as possible, right? Whatever questions are there in your notes, try to solve the same questions again. Try to solve the same questions again. Whatever questions are there in your notes, try to cover, try to solve the same questions again. And this time you are going to solve the same questions without seeing the solutions, right? I would suggest you one more thing. Whatever NCRT in-text questions are there, in-text questions and exercise questions, just focus on these two as well. Just focus on these two as well. NCRT in-text as well as NCRT exercise questions. Perfect. If you are right now scoring 450, you have to focus on these two as well, right? This is definitely going to boost up your confidence, right? And this is definitely going to make your basics again clear, right? And my dear students, the main issue which I am guessing will be your time management and time management can be only, right? The problem in time management can be only solved by writing more and more mock tests. Perfect. So what you have to do? Do as many as revisions as possible of your notebooks. Try to solve the same questions again, which are there in your notebooks without seeing the solution. NCRT exercise questions and NCRT in-text questions are sufficient, right? And after that, Try to solve as many mock tests as possible. That too chapter wise. Start with a chapter wise mock test, right? And if you follow this, I'm pretty much sure you can cross 620 mark for sure, right? And 60, 20 mark in your NEET examination is a good score by means of which you will get into a good medical college, right? Now, all those students who are right now at 600 mark, all those students who are getting consistently around 600 in your mock test, right? So what all things you have to keep into the mind. If at this particular point of time, you are getting 600 marks in your mock test, that too consistently, that means your basics is absolutely clear. There might be some issue in the time management, which can be solved, right? Slight issues will be there in the time management, but I'm pretty much sure your basics is clear. And I'm pretty much sure you have almost covered some 90% of your syllabus as well, that too with 100% honesty. Now where the problem is lying, right? Why you are not crossing all 700 mark, how to shoot up your score from 600 to 700. There are few things which you have to keep in mind from now onwards in these upcoming three months. My dear students, from today itself, from today itself, try to solve 
try to solve around 100 mock tests till your NEET 2024 examination. That means one day, at least one more mock test you have to solve. By writing the mock tests, you will understand exactly about the time management. You will exactly learn how to sit in the examination. That is one of the most important thing which you have to keep in the mind, right? If you really want to score up from 600 to 700, right? So one day, one mock test you have to write. Start with the chapter wise mock test and then start with the part syllabus mock test and then go for the full syllabus mock test. But keep one thing in mind that till your need 2024 examination, you have to write some 100 mock tests. Perfect. And again, I believe you would have solved NCRT in text and NCRT exercise questions for sure, be it physics, be it chemistry, be it biology, right? That is the reason why you are scoring at this point of time 600 marks in your mock test. But what I would suggest to you, I would suggest to you guys to solve the NCRT exercise again and NCRT index questions again without seeing the solutions, etc. Right? So I believe majority of the students who are scoring 600 at this particular point of time are done with NCRT exercise questions, are done with the are done with the index questions, are done with the PYQs of NEET and J. I believe that, right? But I want you guys to repeat the same thing again, at least once more, right? NCRT exercise questions once more, PYQs of NEET as well as J means, right? That too once more. And particularly focus on last five to 10 year papers. Perfect. And my dear students, my dear students, one more thing. If you are scoring 600 at this point of time, please and please focus on the NCRT theory beat all the subjects, physics, chemistry, as well as biology. NCRT theory is going to play a vital role here, right? See, without studying NCRT in physics and chemistry, you can score 550, right? But if you want to shoot up your score from 600 till 700, right? You have to focus on your NCRT. Your NCRT is not enough to get you into the medical college, but your NCRT is enough to make you a topper basically, right? Your NCRT, if you are following NCRT sincerely, if you are covering the all theory, all the problem patterns of your NCRT sincerely, once, twice, three times, absolutely, you are going to be having a single digit or the double digit ranks in your NEET 2024 examination for sure. So your focus has to be on the NCRT theory, NCRT exercise, NCRT index questions. If you have done it once, do it twice, do it three times, right? One day, one mock test. Perfect. And my dear students, I believe all the students who are currently scoring 600, I'm pretty much sure that you would have made some formula sheets. Of course, you would have made in physics at least, in physical chemistry at least, right? You would have made some sheets of the organic reactions, conversions I mean, which I call as the short notes. Perfect. So I would want you guys to revise those formula sheets again every day at least for 15-20 minutes. I would want you guys to go through your short notes every day so that everything remains in your mind all the time. And as I told you, your mock test and NCRT is going to play a role, right, in order to shoot up your marks from 600 till 700. So I believe this particular session was beneficial for all of you and you got to know exactly. First of all, you have to understand in which category you belong to. Accordingly, you have to act upon that, right? Again, I'm repeating a quick summary. The first category students, don't, don't worry about the NCRT in physics, chemistry, right? Whatever I've told you, just follow that. Over here, those students who are scoring almost 450, right? What you have to do? Try to solve the same questions of your notebook again and focus on your NCRT and index question, right? And try writing mock tests. Perfect. You can score really good. You are going to get into medical college for sure if you are scoring 450 around at this particular point of time. So students who are scoring 600 at this particular point of time, what you have to do? Your NCRT is going to play a role here, be it in physics, be it in chemistry, be it in biology as well. So if you have solved your NCRT exercise index questions already, try to solve them again, try to solve them again, focus on the formula sheets, focus on the, uh, those sheets on which you have made the, on which you have written the organic reactions. Those are very, very, very important. Try to read them again and again every day and try to solve minimum 100 mock tests till your NEET 2024 examination. So my dear students, if you are going to follow this particular thing, which I told you over here, trust me, trust me, trust me, I'm 100% sure you are going to improvise your scores when it comes to your actual NEET 2024 examination, right? So this was your chemistry educator Vaseem Bhatt in front of you, right? I believe from this particular session, you got a lot of your things covered and do let me know in the comment section of this particular video whether you want these sort of strategic videos, the actual strategic videos, right? For the NEET 2024 or even 2025 as well, right? 
So with this, I'm taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all, my dear students. Bye-bye. Take care.